President Biden postponed a planned trip to Michigan today because of the weather. His team back in Washington continues to work on a major immigration policy overhaul, but there are serious concerns about whether the bill will get enough support to get through the Senate. White House correspondent Kristen Fisher has details tonight. Congressional Democrats unveiled President Joe Biden's sweeping immigration reform bill by opening with the question that matters most. Does this bill have any chance of passing the Senate with 60 votes? And the answer is we won't know until we try. All of the president's recent predecessors, Republicans and Democrats, have tried but failed to pass comprehensive immigration reform. Addictions run deep in this capital when it comes to immigration. Lord knows we need to reform our immigration system. To every citizen, call Congress and tell them to finally, after all of these decades, secure our border. But their failures haven't stopped President Biden from trying again. At the center of his U.S. Citizen Act of 2021 is an eight-year pathway to citizenship for 11 million undocumented immigrants. The bill would also raise the current per-country caps for visas and replace the term alien in federal immigration laws with non-citizen. So House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy tweeted today, Democrats have a plan to open America's borders, but not America's schools. Tells you everything you need to know. But President Biden and congressional Democrats are already signaling that while they're pushing ahead on immigration reform, they're also open to a more piecemeal approach with smaller standalone bills that have a better shot of becoming law. I salute the president uh, for putting forth the legislation that he did. Uh, there are others who want to do piecemeal, and that may be a good approach, too. As the number of illegal border crossings continues to surge along the southern border, today the Biden administration officially rolled out new instructions to immigration and customs enforcement officers, limiting who qualifies for deportation. And now ICE confirms that a limited number of ICE detainees have begun to receive the COVID-19 vaccine, even as millions of Americans await their first shots. Now, we did not see President Biden at all today, but he did just put out a statement, and it reads in part, these are not Democratic or Republican priorities, but American ones. I've laid out my vision for what it'll take to reform our immigration system, and I look forward to working with leaders in Congress to get this done. Brett? Kristen Fisher, Live on the North Lawn. Kristen, thank you.